You've mentioned in a previous seminar that you have in the past used a credit card to purchase a car. Can you explain your feelings on the ethics of using credit? Well, whenever you enter the process of using credit, you have to understand the, the principles about credit. And it would be unloving to expect to have credit from somebody without wanting to repay the debt. So we have a great focus ourselves, myself and Mary, on firstly repaying any debt that we have and making sure that we do not incur debts that we cannot pay. So when we had some regular seminar income coming in, we decided to, that we needed a new vehicle. At the time we had a very old vehicle that was breaking down all the time on our way home. We were travelling for three hours and uh, at a time in, in Australia, in the Australian bush, and quite often we'd find ourselves stranded in the middle of nowhere, um, having to get towed somewhere. And so we decided that because there was a regular seminar income and we felt quite strongly that we'd be able to repay the debt, we incurred the debt of getting a newer vehicle on, uh, on a credit card so that we could uh, get to the seminars more easily and also get home more comfortably than having to break it down on a regular basis in the middle of nowhere. So that's the reason why we did it. We would never encourage anybody to incur a debt that they knew they could not repay or that they felt at some point in the future they would like to not repay. We feel that every person who incurs any debt should have a desire to repay the debt. And, uh, and we also need to understand that under t today's terms of lending, that most terms of lending involve interest. And if we do incur a debt that involves that term of interest, then we, should, we are, are also making a contract with the lender that we are going to repay that interest. And that's a part of the contract that we are currently making. Myself and Mary only make those particular contracts when we believe we have the capacity to repay the debt. If we do not believe we have the capacity to repay, repay the debt, then we do not purchase the, the material or the equipment or you know, the vehicle or, or whatever asset it is that we feel we need. We just wait. And uh, we've often waited quite some significant periods of time before we've believed we've had the ability to repay a certain debt. And what I mean by that is that we, ha we often have had something that we've needed to purchase. For example, when we first began doing seminars, we felt we needed to purchase a really, really good sound system. But we only had $2,300 in our bank account and that would only buy a $2,100 sound system that we found that was a complete unit. And so we went out and purchased that particular sound system. And even though we knew at a later time we would need bigger sound systems, and at a later time that particular sound system probably would not be used, we still went out and purchased it because it was the only thing we could afford at, the, at that particular time. So myself and Mary are not in the state of incurring debts that we cannot afford or that we feel are beyond our capacity at the time to pay. Now, as it turned out later, we, many years later, about a year and a half later, after using that sound system that was travelling in the back of the little tiny car I mentioned earlier that was breaking down all the time, um, we found that uh, we had a, a, a very generous person donate to us $10,000 and we could then go out and buy a very good sound system, which we still are, are running with today, which has been added to since, of course, but we only purchase things based on what is donated to us. And, and therefore we have a long list generally of all the things that we would like to get in terms of that would help us to distribute divine truth to the world but, uh, but we don't incur the debts of those particular things or incur the expense of those particular things until we have the funds to repay those particular debts or expenses. Lovely.